themselves down the most feared downhill on the World Cup Tour. It is the Strife. And uh, it's uh, just under two minutes worth of pure adrenaline. And the best of the best are here. Apart from, obviously, Alexander Ormot killed it. Still recovering from his operations. And uh, we will hear from him shortly. As you can see, uh, all the famous features. The Mausafala that's already claimed uh, a couple of races so far this season. And uh, in, during the training runs, Barnabas Solos, the Israeli racer, took a horrendous crash off there and has had multiple fractures to his uh, jaw and cheekbones. We wish him well. And so hopefully we won't see any more of those antics here today. Uh, but it is brutal as ever coming down towards the finish across that fall away off the zeal sprung at 145 150 kilometers an hour and uh, that's what to expect 72 percent gradient that's right at the top and it's classic zero to 60 in five seconds pretty much for these guys here to minus three at the top minus two at the finish and the weather is getting better and better the sun's coming out and it is clearing up and i am delighted to introduce marcel mathis back in the commentary box along, alongside me to talk us through what to expect from the strike marcel welcome great back. to be back and right into the business down the mouse collar huge jump and you want to make sure that you are prepared for this compression right into carousel turn where you want to keep it very tight at the exit here somewhat in the middle of those two blinds and then press this one because you need to be ready for the Steilang and we can see how icy it is <laughs> <laughs> and you know on this on this track this is going to be very crucial for the rest of the race because down here you need to get all the speed into the flats um, into uh, the you know to make make sure that you're not going to lose any speed here um, and this is the also the first time that you really have you know a bit of time for yourself catch what you think what you've done catch a breath um, through the chest yeah it'll be important to keep an eye on the speed coming into the flat section because like we saw in Wengen on the exit of the tunnel this next section you don't get any time to build until you get to this section do you no exactly you need to really making sure you take all the speed from the top because those are very like long wind gliding turns and there's only so much speed you can generate yourself so you want to you want to get all of that speed and over here here is the side lap from what races need to be where here is they need to be in the position they need to fight for every centimeter they can be um, you know in an aerodynamic tuck position and this is another really crucial turn it actually shows entrance but you want to keep it really tight and again take all the speed over that you know little flat down to Hausberg. Uh, this is again the last part to catch a couple of extra breaths before we have to start prepping for the Red Bull jump. Exactly. And now that you know the racers want to keep it really tight here on the line and prepare themselves very well into what we know as the big Red Bull jump. You can see there's a bit more off swing uh, for uh, ever since a couple of years, but this is now the biggest fall away in the downhill World Cup. And you want to keep it high, you want to keep it nice, and you want to be strong on your outside leg. Well, that was where we saw Kilda have a near miss in the first of the two downhills last season. So you want to make sure you're tucking it out here. Big jump off the final one. Again, we've seen many crashes there. So it's all about making sure the body weight is further than Cyprian Marazan, who has picked up two back-to-back -back second places on the downhill World Cup tour. Combine that with the first in Formio just before the new year. This guy, his confidence is through the roof. Tenth is his PB last season. And look at how the confidence turns early on. He is pushing really hard. But a huge jump. But he's trying to tuck everything he can. And he, he didn't see anyone tucking the start, but he did. And now this is the sector where he's, where he's usually very strong with his technical ability. A bit out of balance, but he's trying to, you know, keep it on the line there. He's had to cut the top off this turn as well. It's a risky maneuver, but he's stayed high on the exit. Sarazan down into his tuck position, and he's flying as well. There or there about on the speed cut, 500 to the second, hits a mountain. Sheena leads in the finish over. Cyprian Sarazan is going excellently in the first third. Yeah, now it's really all about, you know, keeping the, the ski on the base, trying to be aerodynamic, um, taking a bit of a breather, and now back moving into, you know, where it gets really tough and bumpy. Yeah, switch on the brain again as you're coming towards some of the technical turns that where you need to uh, keep your wits about you over the uh, side lounge, and then a 
it's all about the preparation. He's found himself three quarters of a second behind, but if anybody can make it up with some great technical turns, it's this man. Absolutely, but he, that was a bit of a mistake on this exit there. However, this is going to be a crucial turn. He's tried to, ah, uh, just a bit too far off the line there. Yeah, he's found himself outside the racing line, but he still managed to get some time back, and he's definitely in touch point two, three is all that he's behind, and the confidence that he will have felt over the first part of this season will mean that you can't write him off. No, and he's top speed moving into, into the Red Bull jump. Now big turn, off swing, and move right into, into the last part of the game. Oh, he's coming, he's bringing smooth turns as he comes into the traverse, manages to stay high, Cyprian Sarazan now drops down into the Gilles just and he's found some time, he's two hundredths of a second away, and he's up at over 140 kilometers an hour. Sarazan looking to depose our Sheena leader, and Sarazan oh. takes the win! As you said, his technical ability at the bottom, he really closed it out big time there today. Uh, I like to see the fact that Sarasan was doing the Mobot. Uh